intended, but do you feel the same? Lovers, late at night, I will be right here too, out of sight, love is under What's good? It's your girl, you P from the DMV. You already know where I'm at, you know where I be. Welcome to my channel, my verse. This is where I talk about music, culture, and. <clears throat> Today, we're gonna talk about the songs I was listening to in December of 2021, which was last month. Happy New Year. How is everyone doing? Comment below. How is your New Year so far? What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to. Just keep going, to be honest. I don't really have a resolution. I feel like I'm doing everything correctly. I just need to keep going. But anyway, I like my Johns. What do you call these? Comment below. I call them Johns. Mm. Anyway. Oh, before I, t before I get started, check out my... um. Wow. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like it and comment below. It helps with the algorithm. Um... You know, check out my Spotify playlist. I got some new ones on there. Money Versus. Check out my music blog, Kunigin.blog. There's nothing new on there, but gems. I'm dropping gems in those blog posts. I'm gonna drop some more too, because I need to get back on my grind. Grinding, she's grinding. Anyway, December was fine for me how was your december comment below so the songs i was listening to in december the first one was upside down by diana ross from her album diana ross and if you don't know who diana ross is and i don't know why i said it like three or four times in a sentence but you know here we are she is a singer and songwriter an actress from detroit you might know her from like the supremes i want to do a whole thing on her but this is a lot of information and i am hashtag lazy but maybe one of these days i'll do it um so upside down um is actually from the 1980s and it's a song that um my father used to listen to a lot growing up and i used to hear on the radio a lot diana ross is very popular and actually one of my friends said um i look like her and she should never told me that because like it just boosted my ego more Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, Upside Down is just basically about a love song. And there's a lot of like information about that song. Um, I just like how catchy the uh, lyrics are. And I do like her voice. I like Dinah Ross' voice a lot. And it just gives me that it's a disco song. And I just like how old it sounds and how disco-y it sounds. It just makes me want to... I'm going to do a reaction video to that song. Because I just really want to have that be his own thing. But that's what I was listening to in December. The next song I was listening to was Numb Encore by Jay-Z and Lincoln Park. So um, this is from their collaborative album called Collision Course. So nowadays, like... Ends don't do collaborative albums, like from different genres. Back in the day, it was very popular to see like a hip hop artist do a song with a rock band. And this is one of like the bigger ones I remember growing up with Linkin Park and Jay-Z since like a lot of black people like Linkin Park. Like that's just a thing. You know how you hear them like talk about Paramore and stuff? Like a lot of black people like Linkin Park too. So like, yeah. Um. When Jay-Z did this album, I remember this album because we had the CD, I remember. And I remember really, really like the song Numb Encore. So it combined Encore by Jay-Z and then Numb by Linkin Park. And rest in peace to the main singer of Linkin Park. I don't know his name, but I know he had a lot of issues and you know, they overtook him, so rest in peace to him. But he has an amazing voice, it's very loud. Um, it was never too loud. It was, it had, it was full of like emotion and soul, and I think that's one of the reasons why I like Linkin Park a lot too. And you know, I love me some Jay Z. One of the, my, one of the first rappers I've ever listened to was Jay Z, um, and Biggie Smalls. That's why I'm always like, yay for them. Mm. But um, the composition is like very amazing. Um, I'm just like I said, I'm a big Linkin Park fan, and this is just something I was just jamming to like throughout my day, um, last month, and um. Yeah, I just want to share it with you all. Y'all like Linkin Park? Y'all like Jay-Z? It was a big discourse about Jay-Z on Twitter recently, and I don't know why. But you know, anyway, next song I was listening to. Three, three, two, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Ah, 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 ah. 
not the basic one, the one with the temptations. So if you don't know who the temptations are, and you probably don't, this point, I feel like everybody knows them, but they are an American vocal group from Detroit. And let me tell you something, like when it comes to Motown and just Detroit, they were just making the people, the artists that we know and love, that a lot of these rap hip hop artists sample and these pop artists look up to like Doja Cat and like, you know, Miley Cyrus. It's just, they were just doing it. Anyway, um, this song dropped in 1970s and I love Rudolph the Red Nose Render rendition by The Temptations because it's very soulful. They really made it their own and it does sound very Christmassy. And you know, December, you know, I was listening to a lot of Christmas music, specifically like black Christmas music, because I just like how they just make it soulful and just make it their own. It doesn't sound like the original ones at all. They just bring the song in and they just add like a whole new song. And I feel like this is why, that's why the song was just so popular. I love like um, Eddie Griffin's voice when he's like, I just love his soprano voice. I love them talking at the end. I love when they do like, hey Rudolph. I just love that song. It's my favorite Christmas song. It's my favorite Christmas song. And let's just be real. And it should be yours too. What's your favorite Christmas song? Comment below. By any artist. I like some of Tori Kelly's Christmas songs too. I like me some Tori Kelly. Okay. Next song. So the last song I was listening to a lot in December was I Heard It Through the Grapevine by Marvin Gaye. If you don't know who Marvin Gaye is, one of the best vocalists that we will ever hear on this planet. Um, this song was, the original song was released in 1967 by Gladys Knight and the Pips. So if you don't know who Gladys Knight is, another amazing vocalist. I should just do a whole series of like vocalists that I think people need to like remember. Cause I feel like people forgot. But anyway, um, which dropped in 1967 and then Marvin Gaye took this song and made his own version to it in 1968. And I just really like the song because it's just talking about gossip and he just makes it sound like it's not about gossip, but it is, it's about gossip. Um, and I like to gossip sometimes, let's just be honest. I, I listen to a podcast called Beyond the Blinds and like, yes, some blinds be like real, but it's just a gossip podcast. And I really appreciate it because I be learning a lot of stuff about the industry and music in general. Y'all should check them out. I'll link them below. But anyway, yeah, that's another song I was listening to in December 2020 song, 2021. And yes, this concludes that whole, what I was listening to each month. I'm going to do another segment about music once a month in this coming year. Um, or just something else in general. But thank you for listening to these segments. And I'll put them in a playlist for everybody to listen to. And comment below what you've been listening to, you know, last month, this month. I just like to listen to uh, new music and um, see where y'all heads be at. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video and this channel. And I'll see y'all real soon because I'm that girl. Been intended, but do you feel the same? Lovers, late at night, I will be right here too, out of sight, love is understanding, get it right, what I need for you is everlasting, lovers at night, I might regret today, was it worth, yeah? Keep on no more, especially when I'm sober. I won't.